Welcome to the first problematic podcast of the new year 2021 2021 we made it I escaped 2020 God bless COVID free Me too No COVID Whole family that like a lot of people are catching it And I be outside I did I DJ'd on New Year's You know what I mean Yeah Well you COVID's not around anymore Didn't you After the New Year Everything's gonna go back to normal <laughs> That's what we hope <laughs> That's what niggas thought That was gonna happen <laughs> Like it was like well, It got an expir- uh, expiration date on it He said not at all chief <laughs> Back in full effect Right Yeah people are crazy and you know I can see that even in in what I do, like, like niggas, they they really don't care. They're gonna do them, whether it takes them or not. Like people are really dying from it. Like it took out a lot of people last year. A lot, famous people. It took out niggas you know. And they still don't care. No, they still don't care. Speaking Shit, of he, like people getting taken, did you hear about MF Doom? Yeah, I, he, did he die from COVID? I don't know. I didn't. I didn't see that. I don't think they re- this film release how he died, but he died like all the way. Well, he died on Halloween, and they didn't tell anybody until like yesterday. The article came out. Oh, he died on Halloween. Yeah, he died October thirty first. Oh, I thought he died the thirty first of December. Nah, damn. Right. You know, it's crazy. I see somebody said that um, Complex posted that he died back in October. Yeah, that's that's what they. But I guess like, his family just released it, or just just told people. Damn. They didn't tell how he passed or anything. They just you know. Uh, they, they, they probably just confirmed it Right Like yeah he's Dead dead I mean he was a masked rapper He was pretty private Yeah Still that's that's wild Yeah alright R.I.P. MF Doom What'd you do for New Year's? None Stayed in the crib Had a few family members over I ain't You know did some trap shit In the basement Some trap shit Yeah <laughs> <laughs> Smoke, Just down around the hookah Smoke Nah well, yeah, the hookah was lit. Okay. But you had that, that shit in there that you like? What do you call it? What is it? The Love 44? Love 66? Oh, uh, we ain't getting paid for that. It's just, it's just a fucking hookah flavor, it, man. It, it fucked up. It's a company? Yeah. Oh, my goodness. Fuck them niggas. <laughs> Fuck them niggas. <laughs> Tell them we coming. 2021, we coming straight for the bag. All right. Well, we definitely come for the hookah companies. <laughs> Real shit. Get them hookah commercials out there Hookah commercial Hookah companies We need your money Who got some Zef got hookahs We're gonna go right to him Yep Start doing a podcast Right out of his shop Give us the bread dog We was here for an hour <laughs> Yeah Have people come smoke hookah mm-hmm. All that Make it fun Come try out these new flavors Over here at Zef's The lollipop uh, You got the lollipop joints I'd rather Get fucking choked With a piano wire <laughs> the fucking, the lollipop tips, dude. <laughs> I'm saying though, like niggas is gonna be out there with the lollipop hookah tips. I've seen niggas walking around a club with the lollipop hookah tips and get out their mouth. Neon lollipops. Nah, I said. Ready to go right back to the hookah and consume. Jesus Christ. I don't I I don't knock niggas who smoke hookah. I just don't like it. You a nigga who smoke hookah. Yeah, that's you why I have I mean? no problem you, smoking hookah. You don't came to the to the spot where a nigga was DJing and blew hookah all over the spot, <laughs> all over the, all over the setup. wasn't wasn't no lollipops around though. <laughs> no, nah, there was no lollipops. I could confirm that. <laughs> Did you hear the um, Uncle Murder wrap up? I heard like about half of it. I want to say I listened to about like seven minutes, and then somebody called me. So my mom called me while I was listening to it, and then I just never got back to it. It was dope though I'll listen to it again soon I just you know Have to f- f- Want to bear 13 minutes Real quick yeah, on was, one track I had a 15 minute window So I was like Oh let me just go ahead And listen to this shit real quick It was dope It's not real quick it ain't, I mean it ain't real quick <laughs> But it was like <laughs> I put it on real quick But it's like um, You know he did the The usual Disrespectful The usual disrespectful Yeah Yeah he was disrespecting for a while. I like see. I like the way he does it as compared to how Skills was doing it. Uncle Murder showed us like a whole new way to bring out the new year. Yeah. 
Skills was, you know, the, he wasn't a nice guy, but, you know, he was doing the nice guy. He was like J. Cole in it. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> and that was his annual thing, because I don't even know if anybody ever listened to Skills before that. I never did. Like, was anybody listening to him throughout the year? No. <laughs> well, I don't want to say no, I wasn't. Right, I was I wasn't either. I I knew him for that. He was I, like I I thought he was like a a host on the show or something and he just happened like like Big Tigger, he just happened to be able to rap. And so his thing was I do the yearly wrap up. I have no idea. I just I just knew that he did that and I respected him for it. <laughs> and then his oh, lane Lord. somebody came and stole his entire lane and made it different. Better. Better for hip hop. I can't say that it was better for hip hop, but he made it, you know, more fun for hip hop. Yeah. I wonder. I wonder what the numbers are. Like, does he get? Does Uncle Murder definitely get more spins on his than Skills I'm, was getting? I'm, it's, that's, that's, there's no debate there. He there's, dropped the whole mixtape, by the way. Like, it wasn't just that. Who? Uncle Murder dropped the whole project. Uncle Murder? Yeah. Oh, I'm sure he he that he probably got that on there just to get the numbers up. Oh yeah, for sure, for sure, for sure, for sure. That shit probably gonna go platinum. He's been doing it for a while now. Somebody's probably like, you know what? You should just put an album out this time with it. Yeah. <laughs> Whoever told him that deserved to check. Right. They're probably gonna get one. Some type of some type of recognition or something. Some compensation. Right. Hopefully that nigga, you know, loves his camp enough to do that. He probably told himself, nigga. Yeah. <laughs> we'll do this, we we'll do this myself. We over here talking about <laughs> some made up situation. Yeah, that was that's that good ass <laughs> weed. <laughs> it's crazy when you break it down like a made up situation. That shit was definitely just made up, right? <laughs> that was nothing that we heard or nothing like that. We was gonna be mad at him if nobody got paid, right? <laughs> and I think I heard that on Clubhouse. What? <laughs> <Not> <laughs> on Clubhouse, where all the exclusive shit happens. Yeah, you ain't let your man's on Clubhouse. <laughs> Niggas, niggas will ask for an invite and don't even Don't even be on there participating They just make an account and just be on Yeah I'm on Clubhouse You ain't on Clubhouse? Yuck Right They make an, they make an account on Clubhouse <laughs> Have fucking follow 40 people And only be followed by the person who put them on Shit is If you're gonna use Clubhouse that like that is pointless But Clubhouse isn't All it's cracked up to be Nah it's not Like you can find some dope shit out You can learn some game I remember the shit. I jumped in the room with you one time and you was in there schooling people on some shit. Right. And I was like, oh, giving out the gems. <laughs> I have some gems to give. You know what I mean? That's why they that's why they brought me up there. And I feel like that's what the app was like meant for. Like, you can get in a room with people, talk about what y'all want to talk about semi privately. Right. Like you're still talking out loud, but right. you know what they if you talking about real estate They can teach you something You can teach somebody something These motherfuckers get on here And be like Follow for follow Yeah I don't, I don't like that The follow train rooms Cause it's just, It's it's redundant They're gonna follow somebody Who You're not really Interested in anything That they do Or don't really got Nothing going on Or You know And all that And they're gonna be Pinging you to rooms That don't interest you yeah, Like I guess. <laughs> All day Because That's just what happens On Clubhouse and I realized like that's not even an app where you need followers. Like you don't need to be for real, you don't need anybody following you if you on there to try to find out new shit. What do you what do you need somebody to follow me for? Nothing. Niggas just want to listen to Meek Mill. <laughs> 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 listen to what Meek's talk what's Meek talking about today? No, but not that way. I'm talking about like, all right, you go you're following certain people, you can go in a room listen to what they're talking about. Right. But you'll be learning something What do you care if you have three followers Oh I need more followers For what so you can ping them in these rooms That nobody gives a fuck about Right Doing follow trains So as soon as you hop in the room Somebody can be like Hey start pinging <laughs> Start pinging right now For what Nah nigga They had, they, they had a room where <laughs> what, are we, what are we pinging for They was like oh pay for a bitch's breakfast Well not a bitch but Nah see they had They, they I was, said pay for a beautiful lady's breakfast But I know what the fuck they meant The bitches Right I was I was in a room where they was trying to get uh, girls to just they were just cash apping females, yeah. No, no, the and then they put me on the stage in there, and it was like, if you ain't uh, about to start cash apping these joints, you gotta go. And I'm like, I left. I I wasn't about to do it. Nah. Move, walk, move out of there. <laughs> I don't know. I, what am I cash apping for? This is Clubhouse. Yeah. 
I don't even uh, is that what the app is about? I have no idea. I seem <laughs> like I, you know when you when you go to follow somebody or you go to see what they do, like you be in a room and somebody be talking some big shit. You be like, let me go see what you, let me go see what your your page is about. And you go in there and their cash apps in their page. You be like, what the fuck for what? What what are you charging for? Right? Or you click their Instagram or their Twitter or whatever, and they don't really do much. But you know, <laughs> but I, I, hey. If if that's how if that's how it works, then I'm not mad at him. It's just what am I paying him for? And what's the like the base price on something like that? On sending a random person some random money? I don't know. Here you go here's three dollars. That's what I'm saying. Like, what, like yeah, like I don't. Do you need what, how much help do you need? <laughs> they don't be sounding. You know, the girls be sounding cocky. They don't sound like they need help. On fucking clubhouse, they be on some. These niggas ain't giving out no money. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> they, they don't just, be on. They don't be on that type time. They be <laughs> just so when they keep like, oh, okay. <laughs> they're not on there begging for it. They're on there telling you you're not gonna give them money. And niggas, pff, what? It's five hundred. You know what's wild? The shit. I jumped into a room, and the first thing I heard was, "Well, how do y'all niggas eat pussy?" Yeah, from a dude. <laughs> and I said, "What? What, what time of day was it?" I'm not gonna lie to you. It was like twelve o'clock in the daytime. Yes, yes. <laughs> and the reason I jumped into the room, I'll be scrolling, and somehow you know, if you hit the room the wrong way, you, you go into yeah, it. If I hit my, I could be doing anything on my phone, and if I hit the motherfucking notification the wrong way, whoosh, I'm right in the room. It's like the Matrix. Yo, it's, it's just a bunch of people just load up real quick. Mics start going off, and somebody can say the wildest thing. I was in a room at ten o'clock in the morning one time. They was about to get on some business in there. They had a um. They had a rapper. Um, damn, I forget his name. He's a New York rapper, Sosa Geek. He just had, he had that song with uh, Fabio and Drake. Mm-hmm. Well, Drake had the song with him and Fabio, but um, he was in the room, and some girl who was like speaking for him because he wasn't really talking much. She was just trying to calm the room down and shit. Some nigga stuck ten o'clock in the morning, and they, she was trying to do some business. Some nigga suck my dick. <laughs> 10 a.m. I'm like, damn, this how niggas feel. You here? And then she just booted everybody. All the she booted all the guys off the stage. <laughs> every every male. Yeah, shit is wild. <laughs> yeah. It's and I've done business with that nigga before. I was just you know in the room to see what was going on, but you know there was other niggas in that room trying to do business. Yeah. <laughs> you, listen, like I said, there's people on that app that shouldn't have got invited. Right. There's people on that Like they don't They don't need to be on there To, to really be doing They just want to be on there Trying to troll Yeah and I not, don't know I don't know how that happened <laughs> How did the trolls get there so early I'm a troll But I'm not going to do anything like that I see motherfuckers Taking over rooms and shit Listen, I thought that That was kind of funny Like niggas were getting their followers up like that Because it was kind of new to the app I was Celebrities like, was doing the room takeovers and stuff too nah, I ain't doing that bro <laughs> That just made the app fun. You can't do anything like that on any other app. Nah, you can't. <laughs> Nothing. Not, you can't do anything at all like that. Damn, yo, you really can't. Like that's you like, can't do anything, <laughs> anything at all like that on any other app. I was Nothing. There's to no. Think. There's no. There's no, <laughs> there's no platform where you could do anything like that. <laughs> so we take it over this whole shit now. Right. This is ours and kicking y'all all out. And all it takes is one person. You give yeah. the one person the green bean, and then it's it's out of there for everybody. Dang, you using you using Clubhouse lingo on the regulars? Wow, <laughs> you see, he tried to flex on y'all just now. Y'all don't even know what the green bean is. Oh my goodness, <laughs> <laughs> green bean ain't even that serious. I thought that the green beans was like verified niggas at first until a nigga gave me one, and I was like, what? I was like, oh, this should go away. <laughs> yeah, it'll be right there on your profile while you're a moderator, but when you're not, <laughs> Shit's gone. it's gone. <laughs> I'm gonna take a screenshot of my profile next time that joins there. <laughs> like, yeah, nigga, I'm big. I'm see, big shit on this app. <laughs> I see, I see, motherfuckers try to sneak it in a picture. What? Oh, the- <laughs> in the bottom corner, so it yeah. looks like dog. Who you not fooling nobody? I definitely see. seen that. You're not fooling anybody. Niggas do a bunch of things on there. They got uh, already like. The clubhouse, their pictures outlined with things, uh, tags up for the groups and stuff that they're in on clubhouse. Yeah. 
they're definitely taking it to the next level. It's uh it's already too much and everybody's not even on yet. <laughs> yeah. That that app's gonna go to shit. Uh huh. When they let everybody on, it's gonna go to shit. But that's what happened to Facebook. I was on Facebook when it was exclusive and only like college niggas the niggas who had uh you had to have a non regular email. So you had to have a, a job email or a college email. Yeah. And then they opened it up to regular people. I don't want to say regular people because, but then they opened it up to uh, regular regular people. people. So <laughs> <laughs> yeah, then it just it really went to shit after that. I mean, it's fun and and everything. You can make money on Facebook now and all kinds of stuff. But it's like when it was exclusive, I thought it was a little better. I liked it more. Yeah. I like everything when it's exclusive. You know, you but know, I'm still gonna be around. I I like when. The shit first comes out and you can wild out. Right. Right, right, right. Cause like, it's like there's not a lot of people in this room, so I could do a backflip if I wanted to. Yeah. <laughs> but it's like when Twitter first came out, yo, Twitter was a different place before. Like Twitter's wild now, but it was it was definitely the wild, wild west out there. I think it's still kind of the wild, wild west compared to nah, the rest of the internet. You can say some shit. But then you'll get blocked and banned and all that shit and that before. Oh, for real? You can say whatever the fuck you wanted on there. Wow. I um I was Facebook, their bots are getting like a little too sensitive for me. I was in the weed group earlier and I posted some weed and they wasn't having it. Yo, some girl I was like, niggas post weed in the weed group all the time. What's going on? <laughs> some some girl commented on a joint like, oh, what Spanish bitch are you fucking with? And they they blocked her wow. because they thought she he was like Spanish people are bitches. I was like, oh my god, Facebook is trash. Yeah, they need to get that shit together. It's like I don't know what's going on, man. Them participation trophies fuck this country up. <laughs> That's how it starts, man. Yo, Let, yeah, every- and inclusion when things aren't exclusive and you start giving shit to everybody. Some things need to be exclusive to like, you know, I don't know like uh, pay grades and mental capacity. Yeah, like, <laughs> all I, of that. You seen? Um, you gonna watch Coming to America too? Yeah, hell yeah, I'm gonna watch that. I'm gonna watch it like four or five times. Hopefully, hopefully it's hilarious. I I, I want to see. I, I want it to be real funny. I want it to be like some old Eddie Murphy real funny. Right. Me too. What's that that, that uh, Netflix show he did was hilarious? I like that. Dolomite? Yeah. It was funny, but I'm talking about I need some like delirious. Some raw. <laughs> I don't right. know if he's going to do that. I don't think you can anymore. Now, the world is way too sensitive for... And, psh, nigga, the world is way too sensitive for... It got... I don't want to say it got sensitive, it but you got to think about yeah, it got sensitive. But it, um, <clears throat> I realized like in rap, people can't even say certain things without somebody bringing it up and checking it out and then just kicking it out. <laughs> yeah, it's like the, between like the sensitivity and then the cancel culture, it's, it's, a, it's a shit and place. You know what the wild thing is. It's only cancel culture when it's somebody they don't like. Right. Because when it's somebody y'all cool with that's doing some weirdo shit, y'all brush that shit under the rug. Right. They don't get canceled. Yeah, I don't know. I could, I don't I don't get it. Like some things I can understand, like but yeah, they take it to they take it to a serious extent with this uh trying to cancel people and get people out of here. Yeah. Good and things. especially like I don't like they did it with uh stand up comedy. Right, that this that's what you know what we're talking about. It can't be uh, or rap music. I don't like them doing it to either of them. If you're gonna listen to a rapper, you got to listen how that rapper rap. Yeah, <laughs> I always thought that because you know the one uh, Drake song with J Cole, where he says something about like you being autistic retarded. It's like unless you have a downloaded old version, that shit is muted on everything. That part where he says autistic retarded, and I was like, damn, this is crazy because this is the explicit version. And they still muted that part. Mm-hmm. What? Uh, there's a 
there's a Biggie song that even on the explicit version, it, it's still uh, oh, backwards. He said something about pregnant bitches, right? Which was wild, and that you know that was that was '90s. So yeah. I think Puffy did that though, probably because I know the '90s was a crazy place too. Because rap was just like. After the after the West Coast niggas after NWA, it's like, hey man, we'll, we don't know what to fucking accept. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but um, when he's talking about fucking all the bitches and shit like that, he said that uh that he he was gonna rape Mary J. Blige, right? And this nigga Puffy walked in the studio, turned the beat off, and was like, "You can't say that, right? Like, I don't care what you about these other bitches, not Mary. That because yeah, that was his artist too, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah." You can't say that. Not Mary, not her. You gonna miss anything about 2020? Nope. Not one thing. Mm-mm. Some good things happened to people in 2020. You're not gonna miss one, one fucking thing. What am I gonna uh, to miss it though? Not it's just like not, all right. Did you did anything positive happen for you in 2020 at all? Oh yeah, a few things. Like I'm, you know, I, it, it wasn't the COVID is the only shit that made it a bad year, right? But other than that, it was like. Ain't, ain't shit change I kind of like the You know The new sense of home Yeah All the all the, all the introverts That <laughs> couldn't stay in Right it was the, It's their time to shine Where they at Outside <laughs> I, I hate when people get Like The, the trendy uh, mental health issues to themselves. Yo, men- listen, mental mental health issues is something I'm sick and tired of. That trending, that's trending with everybody. Like everybody that I meet is the depression or anxiety or something. It's like not any more normal people. Like everybody got a mental issue. Everybody, everybody needs a check. I don't even think they don't self diagnosis. A mother. That's what it is. Self diagnosis. <laughs> yeah, niggas is. They're doing too much. Like, I don't. Look I'm at you, speechless. Yeah. It's like, <laughs> and I get, you know, there's people that's fucked up. Like, you know, they need something. But I, listen, I ain't going to be posting about that shit 24 7. Right. Not at all. And then motherfuckers, you see, like, I don't want to say that they're dumb, <laughs> but it's like it's, right, yeah, it's, call it what it is. <laughs> it's like there's still people that think this COVID shit is fake. Yeah, so there's a lot of that going on, and it's like, what, like, are you serious? When in history have you seen them have motherfucking trucks that are cooled outside of hospitals for the extra bodies? Right. Like, come on, dog! Like, it's fake, right? And then I be seeing people like that I would have at one time considered smart talking about it's fake. That, that's what that's. <laughs> it's like you, those are the people that get me. Like, bro, it's niggas are dying at alarming rates. Nah, the shit that you that I think is so funny is the motherfuckers that are scientists. Oh, how they got a vaccine for this already, but they don't got a cure for cancer and this and this and this. Yeah, because right. you motherfuckers can't stay in the house. <laughs> right. Like, they try to cure cancer. Well, they trying. Maybe. Probably. It's, like, it's, it's cancer. Cancer is, is a dis- disease. Yeah. But I'm saying, you know, they they trying to work on that. Right. These motherfuckers be acting like, what, 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 where's your research at, nigga? Right. <laughs> <laughs> the, the fuck you know? <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> Yeah, all the all the doctors that <laughs> the doctors and the experts, PhD and fucking YouTube and Google searching. It's ignorant. <laughs> it's very ignorant. So what's your what's your plans for this year? You got anything mapped out? Mapped out? Yeah. Nah. No, no. I want to. No, no I, goals. I want to get this podcast out of this cold ass garage. I got goals for problematic. <laughs> I think we need. I don't want to say a studio because I don't want to fucking like record rappers and things like that. We need like a fucking hub. Yeah. Something cool. 
like a think tank that we could do. Yeah. And then make some motherfucking money. That's it. Yeah, I think I want to work on that. I want to work on the think tank. I'm going to get my credit right. That's it. I need new credit. Credit think tank. You got it. What's it called? Link with some of them niggas in the streets. They know how to get credit rate. <laughs> I'm going a, I'm to a link with some of them niggas on Clubhouse. They, they, <laughs> everybody knows how to do credit repair. Yeah. What's, what's up with that? Where's everybody learning credit repair at? Please put me on. So I can hit the, you know, do it myself. <laughs> I'm sure if you just like, yo, that's another thing, yo, like Google searching and shit like that. Like you could really figure out little tips and tricks. To getting your credit up a little bit Right I just don't know how to be like Yo You give us your information And we'll get your credit up Eight points in two minutes Nigga how Right What what type of black magic is that (laughs) Yeah I need to know I need to google that Become a credit repairman Instant credit repairman Cause there's a lot of them People I never even There's niggas Who are doing credit repair That I wouldn't trust To walk my fucking cat (laughs) Yeah (laughs) <laughs> Real shit. It seems like Like there's a secret that somebody knows And they not trying to tell anybody I'm just, nigga, It's got to be Like some website you can log on to And start changing the fucking numbers It's got to be that easy <laughs> One of these niggas got the passcode They just gave it to a couple people These niggas are talking about we do credit repair $250 a point <laughs> <Yo>. <laughs> My nigga $250 a point is wild <laughs> Get your credit up <laughs> I'm not I, Listen I'll let my shit go up gradually I'm not paying that much for one point I'm not. You got good credit Yeah I thought so That's why I gotta get my credit up <laughs> It ain't the best of credit Because I ain't have credit for a long time Right But it's like I yeah, so mine isn't bad It's, it's just alright I, I didn't know, know that they, I know I have to get it up They hold that against you Yeah they do Baby credit <laughs> like, You don't even got enough credit To talk to us You be like God, what? <laughs> Well damn I thought Right that. but like I never used Any kind of credit <laughs> But they yeah did. baby credit Even they if said, you Even if you not Fucking with it It's still You ain't got they, no credit They said they get Bad credit is better Than no credit It's, it's credit It's not reputation Yeah <laughs> It's like, what you mean? I paid everybody back, nigga. Netflix, and I paid them months in advance. <laughs> nope, <laughs> not at all. They said, well, "Man, I got this phone bill." Mm-mm, no, Mm-mm. Mm-mm. That, that ain't that ain't shit to us, right? That's all, that's all you pay is your phone bill. <laughs> nah, your credit is it's a scam, but like you can scam it. It's it's the most American thing ever. Yeah. <laughs> I see some dude was talking about um, how to uh, get your credit right, take out a hundred thousand dollar loan, fuck your credit up, but you'll have a hundred thousand dollars that you ain't got to pay back. He was like, "Now, if you a street nigga, you could do that and do some street shit." He was like, "Or oh, you could start a business that way." He was like, "And then you can start working on getting your credit right again." Right. And I was like, "Damn, that would that would have been a smart idea." Like. 15 years ago <laughs> <laughs> Nah nigga you can still do that What you talking about Yeah I could but I feel like I'm not gonna do all that shit And then wait to get my credit back up Like I'm not, You'll, after have, that, you'll I, have money No 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 after that that's it <laughs> there's, oh, That's it. There's no more getting credit back from me I'm not that's it I'm out the game You're out the, <laughs> out the credit I don't give a fuck about that credit It's a credit Thanks for the money <laughs> Hell <laughs> Say that I, think I am not worried about building that shit back up. I mean, you gotta like the house is already here. That for real, like I don't know, whatever business you start, I guess you should be all right. Yeah, I, I don't, it'll build itself back up in the process of you owning businesses and things. Yeah, if you do, if you, if unless you just somehow survive the rest of your, of your life off a hundred thousand dollars, impossible. Right, so. <laughs> How how many years, months, months? It could, you could do. I could probably survive a year and a half off a hundred thousand. 
it depends. It really depends. Like if you, if that's all you're banking on, like you don't have no other income but that hundred thousand, I give like a strong eight or nine months. So like if you had a hundred thousand dollars and that's it, that's it. That's what they should have gave us as COVID checks. Yeah, <laughs> that'd have been a lovely stimulus. The, stim- you, the you, stimulus should have been 100k. Nah, these <laughs> niggas would have been wild. Should have been a hundred fucking thousand dollars. You would have seen niggas in fucking 2010 BMWs flexing. I would have had a fleet of 2010 BMWs. A bunch of bitches doing Ubers. I'd have my own fucking company, nigga. They've been fucking only Ubers. I have an OnlyFans joint pick you up in an Uber. Talk crazy to you the whole ride or drop you the fuck off. <laughs> nah, I ain't even gonna hold you. I don't be getting one stars. <laughs> nah, but I got no rating system. <laughs> nah, I'm like, I've looked. That bitch talk way too much. I just want to sit in the back and listen to music, man. That's what they paid to do. Well, now nah, you can tell them to shut up. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, do you have the heart to tell your Uber driver to shut up? Nah. <laughs> <laughs> Nah, not at all. Because like, they, can, they can tell you to get out. So, but now nah, I mean, like, if he's it's doing, cold. Hey, how you doing, man? What's going on? Hey, look, I don't really want to talk right now, dog. I'm strong. Like, no, no, no. That that I'm cool with. I'm not saying shut up though. <laughs> you would be like, yo, shut the fuck up. Right, yeah, I'm yeah. not doing that. <laughs> I'm not disrespecting. <laughs> <laughs> you don't know what kind of that, that could have been the last straw. Now he's gonna drop the motherfucker right in the traffic. Right. So he start talking. Hey, da, 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 shut the fuck up, dog. Yo, that's, that's crazy. Yeah, that's not that's not how I can't do that. You can do that? Nah. Oh, okay. <laughs> nigga, I have a problem telling, telling people to shut up in general. Like, oh, shut up. Like, <laughs> maybe he's going to. He need to get this off his chest. <laughs> Sheesh. What's it called? I remember when we was in LA. We we was in a strip club, went outside and got an Uber. Uber never picked us up and he's driving. He was like, yo, the strip club was mad whack, right? And I was like, yeah, it was contrast. She was like, yeah, I see y'all in there. <laughs> <laughs> Wow! <laughs> Wait, what you mean? He said, "I was in there too." <laughs> right? <laughs> nigga, this was you for a break? Go to the strip club? Nigga, he was probably chilling, and then his joint pinged. Like, oh shit, I got a nah. uh, joint. Oh Cause here. You, well, you're not in your car. You got to sign out. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. <laughs> so, oh shit. That's what I'm saying. He probably signed out. One of the strip club a little bit. Let <laughs> me get some wings and shit. Eight. <laughs> Time back in. <laughs> right, caught the lucky one. Like oh shit niggas is right here It was these niggas That looked like they was having a bad time Yeah it was, it was terrible <laughs> It was a bad sh- I don't like strip clubs anyways I don't I don't need I'm not a fan I'm of not a super clubs. fan of strip clubs Not in big cities Not in small cities And people always say that, Oh you gotta go to the right one nah, nah I just don't like Sitting there Yo, and like Some strip clubs You can actually eat food in Like food food Like ugh Yeah my, you don't remember Lou Williams That's why he food went food around all of this That's why he went to his favorite restaurant Magic City <laughs> right, his favorite restaurant. He said he didn't go there for the hoes. He just went there to get some. I never been to Mexico. They got good food. I don't. I've never been there. See, now I want to try the wings and watch you get there and the wings be on some regular shit. <laughs> well, we know what Lou Williams was really there for. <laughs> it wasn't the food, as he says. Right. What if they're slamming though? Like, what if they're really good? Like, like, damn, this needs to be on TV. Good. Like, That's, I'm, I'm waiting. <laughs> I need me some wings like that. I fucking I'm getting some wings right after this fucking episode. <laughs> I ain't lying. <laughs> <laughs> that ass gonna get me some wings. Text my girl right now. You want to get, get some wings? <laughs> oh man, I'm, I'm ready for this cold weather to go. Yeah, already. I want to move out this fucking state, <laughs> but like we don't experience all the bad weather that. All the good weather states experience Because <laughs> they have like You know the weather's always good But they have They have some bad weather things Fucking typhoons Yeah and typhoons shit. Earthquakes Hurricanes All of that Tornadoes it, yo, The worst we get is blizzards Right I could deal with that I've been through it Like I don't know if I can handle a fucking A, hur- a category 5 hurricane I can't My power's no, out for fucking I can't two months. No ca- right. I went to uh my very first time in Florida as a kid went to Disney World. Like it was good every day. It was hot out. You know, 
It's a different kind of heat, of course. But it rained. And I remember seeing on the bottom of the uh, the Weather Channel, seek shelter. Stay away from poles, trees, and things. And that's the first time I've ever seen the Weather Channel give out that kind of, you know. Information. Yeah, I'm like, oh, that's crazy. I, I never seen that before. I've seen plenty of thunderstorms up here. Yeah. Man, that was the wild. I watched that shit from like the seventh floor of a hotel. That was the wildest thunderstorm I've ever seen in my life. Could you see the ocean? Nah, I just it was just flat land and like lightning hitting fucking Man, different everything. Yeah. <laughs> it just it just looked crazy, and it went on for about like two hours, just like a, a summer rain happens up here, yeah. and then it was all over. And it was and, man humid after that. Just like when it rains, it was just different. But it was the like the and they, you know that's their summer rain, I guess. The wildest thunderstorm I've ever experienced. It's crazy because when I went to fucking normal to Las Vegas for the first time, like when we got off the plane and got our rental, it was fucking pouring, and I was like, I thought this was the fucking desert. Like <laughs> <laughs> it's a lot of fucking rain, right? It was like beyond normal rain too. Like this was like. Like what the fuck All day <laughs> All day Soon as night time though That shit cleared right up Was it cold I've never been to Vegas It's not cold cold But it's definitely It's a noticeably change From daytime to nighttime. Like at nighttime, You could definitely wear A long sleeve with some jeans Okay <laughs> In the daytime so You can change your whole fit at night Yeah You can you put can, a hoodie on you're, you're, you're gonna have to change Your whole fit at night Okay <laughs> Unless wow. you're unless you're from like a colder state, because that the, the temperature change is crazy. It was like 105 during the daytime. Damn. <laughs> so was it night like 70? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, that's a, when you think about it. That's a big difference. 30 degrees in a few hours. Really? That's how it gets. Yeah. Wow. All right. I was like, damn. How do niggas even pack for Vegas? <laughs> You had to pack two outfits, uh, two types of outfits. You got to pack two outfits for each day. I never yeah. do that. Yeah. How, do, how do niggas that live out there dress? I don't. Well, I'm sure they they're used to that kind of change throughout the day, so they probably just dress comfortable. Or they don't go outside during the daytime, probably. We got to ask our Vegas listeners. My cousin lives out there. Right. Mm-hmm. That's what's up. We we'll go visit your cousin. She always tells me to. We, we should go. <laughs> right. Go see what's popping in Vegas. Yep. It's about that time. 